so we are right at phase two. Like I've really cleaned up that forehand follow through and goes over my shoulder. And it's really good to watch yourself on video because that swing coming across my body like that took me months to do. And then watching yourself on video, I really noticed how on my back I come right through the ball. And someone once told me that what you do on one side, you should be able to do on both sides. So that's something that I really need to work on. Where my backhand, I come through the ball very clean. Blocked. I extend my arm to the target. My forehand, I don't do that. I, my forehand is very rotational. It doesn't go linear and extend to the target. And then when you watch stuff on video, you can see your feet. I'm really tall. I'm not bending my knees. I'm not getting low. You know. Um, it takes me a while to warm up too, man. It takes me a good five to ten minutes. At this point, my backhand's already in. Like I'm starting to get my backhand, but the forehand, that swing, if I can extend my hand further away from my body, a little bit longer. See how my swing, see that ball just dies out when I hit it. It goes up and down. It doesn't go straight through. Like my opponent, Joe, he hits through the ball. He comes right at me. So it's good to see yourself in this. See, my ball always goes up on my forehand. Up, it goes up, it doesn't go through. I'm not going through the ball. And so you want to try to transfer weight and go forward as much as possible. And I'm on a half court. You can see how I'm having trouble going forward. I am going left. I'm not going, I'm not down. The back end, I'm stable. Forehand. I hit open and I rotate that foot. And I'm not coming through the ball. There. But it's still not coming forward. Backhand. Stable. Forehand. Come around. I have that loop swing. I don't go forward and through. So you gotta make sure when you strike the ball, even with this western grip, I try to make it more vertical on impact. And I bring your bracket through, bring it coming through the down part of your bracket, the frame. It comes out to be a decent forehand, but it's not super big. And the other thing too is note the effort level. I don't try to hit hard. Whereas my friend Joe hits, he, hits, he tries to hit hard every time. And so I need to get to the point where I'm doing that. Where I'm trying to hit the ball a little harder. He also hits incredibly deep. So it's good to see on the video how deep my point is hitting and where I'm standing. I think I'm standing too far in. And too far in the back. Back it works out. I come through, you can see me trans transfer weight forward. The forehand just don't do that. So it's still work in progress. I'm quite pleased with the progress. Um, the volleys are always gonna be solid, but the ground strokes is something I need to work on. That back in right there, right through. I just go right through. Right through, very balanced, very easy. It's also closed. My back is always closed, one foot in front. My forehand is sometimes always open too. So I think for me, it'd be better to have both feet forward instead of hanging open. There, see when I when I can make my feet one foot in front and I hit the forehand, it comes out a little bit better. A little more body weight transfer. That's gonna be the key. That's why it's really good to have video. Try as much as possible when you get out to play, try to hit video. Now the other problem I'm having is when I play matches, I don't have this opportunity to hit this forehand. It's really ironic. I want to hit forehands, I'm getting a lot of backhands. And I'm getting a lot of forehands away. I hardly get forehands at me now. So it's kind of nice that my friends are actually trying to avoid my forehand, which I never thought would ever happen in those years. And right here, about the 10 minute mark, this is where I, start, I finally started to warm up and started to hit. The problem is at this 10 minute mark, I start getting tired. I don't know how to get fit to take care of that. Even on the volley, it's like the first couple you can see, it's a reminder on the volley to strike the racket. See, I'm not, I'm not moving the racket face. Look at the racket face, it's just staying there. And as you watch me warm up, I'm gonna start to strike the racket. There. I'm starting to move the racket now. 
there. I'm starting to move the racket. Limit bit impact, through. Limit bit impact, through. My friend Tom Walker in Michigan said, when you hit a forehand volley, it's palms up. When you hit a backhand volley, it's a knuckles up. You get that slice through the ball. And I never thought about it, but I guess, ironically, I do need to warm my volleys up. And I start moving the racket. I'm starting to move the racket now. Although the speed of ball coming at me. Nuts. But now I'm starting to move the racket, and that is that a little bit of hand motion in the ball in the back with control. A little bit of side spin, an underspin to get the racket to have control over the ball. But overall, we've got progress. We'll keep the vlog up. I think it's something interesting for my personal reflection and just for some people to think about things when you're trying to work on a game. These are things you want to work on. Think about. Right there. At the end, I'm, I'm really cupping the ball and I'm making a pocket with that volley. Right. 